Can't believe that it's almost halfway through the week already. It seems like it's just going by. It's Tuesday afternoon, and I just got back from vacation yesterday. We had a great time. We went down to Disney again. Had a blast. It was really quick, though. We only spent about two full days there. Drove back on uh, Monday morning early, 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 like 3 in, in the morning. I got to beat all the traffic, though. Jacksonville traffic hadn't even started yet, and by the time I got back up towards Charlotte, the rush hour traffic was gone, and the noon hour traffic hadn't started yet. So we beat every kind of traffic that we could possibly do. Trip down took like 11 hours, and then a trip home took about 9, so there was a lot of time that was cut. So the Disney trip was really fun. I was happy to go and spend some time with the family. I didn't even uh, film anything down there. Just enjoyed the, the family and hanging out. But we are back in the shop and we're ready to do some more footage and just talk about general things in the shop and build some projects. Alright, so last week we went over the table saw sled. I built that and then I used the paste wax and it really did a great job on making the sled slot across the table saw. Well, I ended up finding one of my old jigs right here, and this is just, I guess, a joining jig. If you have like uh, rough saw and lumber stuff, you can put it in here with these uh, Bessie auto adjust clamps. These clamps work really, really great. They adjust from everything. I've used quarter inch and then put in one inch stuff right afterwards. Haven't had to make any adjustments whatsoever with these. One downfall of my design though is that I have to have these two permanently attached right here. Maybe next time I could add like a T-track in right here and these would be able to move up and down and then just lock them into place. That would be able to do all sorts of different lengths and then I could do small ones, maybe even do some kind of tapering stuff with it. But overall this used to be just a scrap shelf with some scrap lumber and I threw this together really quick. Alright so the way it works is pretty much you have your fence and you got your clamps and you just take whatever kind of lumber you have, put it in your clamps, clamp it down and let it ride along the fence and as you're going it would just go ahead and cut a straight line off of whatever edge you're trying to join. Then you go ahead and unclamp it. If this was the side you just jointed, you'd flip it around, adjust your fence to whatever width you're trying to do, and then you would be able to saw it. And then you would have a perfect width of your board and you don't have to have a joiner. So obviously there are a lot of improvements that you could do with that jig, especially if you had a bigger table saw. I want to go ahead and actually cut the table saw legs off my table saw and match it up to the same height as my workbench. That way it's almost like a completely flat area and I got a lot more room and I could probably put wider pieces on there and stuff like that, but that's still kind of in the works. I went to the antique store the other day and filmed a little bit, but I didn't show you guys what I actually bought. I went ahead and as I was walking through the store, I walked right by this display case and out of the corner of my eye, a little tiny hand plane caught my attention. I didn't even like look for it, it was just there, kind of stood out and I was like, whoa, what is that? So it was a really itty bitty tiny hand plane. I don't know all the details about how everything went down, but apparently sometime uh, the Stanley and Bailey company that made the hand planes they ended up separating I believe from what I've been told and Bailey ended up going on his own little adventure trying to do his own hand planes and that's where the Victor planes came into play. So here it is up close. Now the one thing that caught my attention really quick was the detail on the adjustment knob. It says Victor right here and a bit uh, plain on the bottom and it's got nice detail on the very middle section. The front knob is not original, it's like some kind of cheap plastic one. I'd like to find the original knob for it. And it's just overall different about how the entire thing adjusts as you can see right there. This is in very good shape, the japanning for the most part is all there. There's a view of the top side. The iron's even sharp and I've even tried it out on some boards already, just easing over the edge. So you might be wondering why in the world I'm just showing you guys another hand plane. You know, I've shown you guys plenty. 
The one thing that I don't have is info on this thing. I've looked on Google and everything like that, and I cannot find any real info on there. No actual prices or anything like that. Or, I mean, besides the basic Bailey hand plane collection, you know, there's not really anything out there about these that I can find. So, if you guys have info about it, please leave it in the comments below. I'd like to find out a lot more on this little plane. If you guys have one of these, I'd love to see yours and see pictures of it. You guys can probably email me or if you're on Facebook, send me photos through there. If you guys have the front knob of this, it's got detail like on the adjustment knob, let me know. I'd really like to see what it actually looks like and uh, see if I can actually find one out there. So I know this wasn't a very exciting video today, but thanks for uh, stopping by, checking out the other jig that I have. I also got one more, but I want to make some adjustments on it real quick and tweak it around before I show you guys. And also, if you guys have any info on that plant, hand plane, please let me know and leave a comment in the section below so that I can kind of know more about it. I've never seen that hand plane before, never seen the brand, and it'd be really interesting to learn more about it. If you guys are new, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've officially gotten over the 10,000 subscriber mark, which is awesome. I appreciate everybody that's been watching the videos and followed along through my journey of blacksmithing and woodworking. And as always, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. I appreciate all the likes and everything and all the comments you guys leave below. I really appreciate those. And I try to respond to everybody. I'll see you guys on the next video.